Hey everybody, welcome to Leon's Chainsaw Parts and Repair. So I'm working on this 550 and I got to looking at the clutch and noticed what I thought was one shoe with a loose lining turned out to be two. So these shoes have gotten almost impossible to find new. I mean they still pop up on eBay once in a while but there's not many and buying a used clutch you're running the risk of having the same problem. Now this one that's still bonded, you can see it's not much wear. Still plenty of meat left there. Same thing for the one that's loose. But what the hell do you do? Well, I'm going to experiment. That's what I'm going to do. I figure, what have I got to lose? Nothing. Because I can, you know, I don't have options right now. I don't have any of these shoes in stock, and there's none on eBay. So, what I'm going to attempt. My friends at JB Weld have this high heat, 4,730 PSI strength, fast one hour cure with heat, blah, blah, blah. Great for engine blocks, mufflers, radiators, grills and stoves, other high temp projects. What they don't say is liners. And I have a feeling that has to do with liability issues. That's my guess. So, like I say, I've got nothing to lose here. I'm going to go for it. So I previously cleaned that up with both shoes and liners, the back sides, cleaned those with brake clean real well. Now look at that. That's my mixing tray, ain't that cute? And what I may do once I get this set, initially what I'm going to do, so here's my thought process, is I'm going to epoxy these on set them in here and use the radius of the clutch drum that's my thought to so do something like that so that way they're held good and tight yeah I think that would probably work and then at some point I may bake these in my toaster oven that I use for bacon coils I might we'll see piece of plastic on that rib doesn't work as well as I had hoped. There we go. I just want something so if any of the epoxy drips it doesn't you know get down on the clutch drum. So alright. Oh and as usual with JB products the one side wants to come out before the other. Squeeze a little out until there. Wow. That's enough to do both. So, keep that from getting to, together here. There we go. That way it'll be ready to go the next time I run across this, in theory. Ah, and I don't have a hook that's the right size to hang that on. I'll worry about that off camera. So, all I'm going to do... Get this... Well, hell, I'm not going to waste the quote-unquote mixing tray. I got it right here. I've got more than I need, but... This looks awful similar to normal JB but it's a lot thinner and that's honestly good that's exactly what I want so I'm just gonna put a very thin coat in this area where the lining is bonded to the shoe still I'm gonna leave that because that's obviously good adhesion and we'll just go right over the top say I have literally nothing to lose on this and it's not a, a situation like with a car if you know you lose a lining off of a brake shoe you're not you know that could cause a real injury or death this being a contained clutch the worst that's going to happen is all of a sudden it's not going to cut because it'll sit there and slip so that's why I say I've got nothing to lose and I'm not worried about it Okay. That 
there. Right, stink in there. Okay, I see a little bit pushing out. I don't worry about that right now. I'll deal with it later. trick is going to be clamping this without letting that slip at all. Which I let it slip a little bit there. There we go. Okay. It ain't pretty, but it's there. And that's being held tight enough that that lining ought to, ought to dry up just fine. The thought of clamping it in the drum is it's the right shape to apply even pressure. Let's see, I'm making this up as I go. I've never done this before, but as parts become harder and harder to find, I think we're going to have to resort to more repairs like this. So this style of shoe was used on late 925s it was obviously used on the 550 and it was also the final revision option to be used on the C72 before that completely went out of production So, I guess the point of what I just said is, you're not going to run out and find this on that many part saws. Oh, boy. That kid is so loud. Adjusted this before I started spreading that. There we go. Okay. It ain't pretty, but we're going to try it. Those linings have slipped down exactly where they were before. So we'll see. Once this is set up, I think what I'll do is pull out my toaster oven and bake the hell out of it. And if this all works, if I can get it back, you know, it looks like everything worked, we'll come back and I'll show you the, the end result. Hey, this one's good. You know, it's not going anywhere at the moment. But, you know, if this works, this saves a lot of expense and a lot of searching and all that. So, we'll see. Okay, so I'm going to call this a success, but I definitely learned a few things that would be useful moving forward. So I let this sit for about an hour, clamped, you know, the way you guys saw it, and then I took it out, put it in the toaster oven at 250 for an hour, and it cured exactly like they said. But what I hadn't expected was at the edges it lifted ever so slightly. Now I'm not going to lose sleep about that, but in hindsight it would have been so easy to prevent that from happening but again I, this is the first time I've tried this so we'll go with starting out with the adhesive it worked so I had a little blowout right here a little bit you know on the sides that I needed to grind off this is hard as a rock it is top-notch so I think this stuff will work just fine so that, I'm going to say, was a raging success. Now, where it lifted like this, I had to just take a little bit of material off. And that sucks. It does, but it's reality. I had to in order to get the proper fit in here again. Okay. So, it's making that noise because it's sitting against the, you know, there's no thrust washer or anything in here. But it fits. I mean, it goes in and out. 
It's a little tight, but I think it's going to be okay. I don't want to take more material off than I have to. I think at idle speed it'll be okay. But I'll test that out and find it out. So, if I was doing this again, and I will someday, next time around I will assemble the clutch again. I think. I think I will. And my thought is I could then clamp it using the vice grips. You know, similar to what I was doing before. Yeah, I think this would work. Now, I'm not going to... I don't want to go hard at it here because I don't want to risk damaging something. But I'll show you guys what I was thinking of. Something like that. I clamped it to the outside edge and do it on both and then I'll just cook the vice grips with it. You know, you've got to have more than one set. I've got four total around here. In theory, I could do... If you did one on each corner, you could do every single clutch shoe all at once if all three were loose. And by clamping it in like this, it would prevent it from lifting at the edge. I honestly didn't think that friction material <coughs> excuse me, would lift like that. But it did, so live and learn, right? For now, I'm going to say that this clutch is resurrected, these shoes are resurrected, and it's going to work. So give that stuff a shot. Again, it's JB Weld High Heat. Where did I put it? There we go. It's the High Heat, it's the twin tube, so it mixes the exact amount in theory. You don't need much, you know, you guys saw me just put that little skim coat on there. But it's good to 550 degrees. If this clutch ever slips to the point where it gets to 550 degrees, there's way bigger problems. I mean, the, the saw is going to be cooked, so. Other places other than just the 94-126 clutch shoe that this is, oh, what is it, 93632? that was used in the 360s and I think some 410s later on used it as well with this you know lining that can come off so and I'm sure there's plenty of other you know two-stroke saws out there that could uh, could use this as well but anyway that's my solution that I believe is going to work for this particular clutch and uh, yeah we'll uh, We'll see how it goes when I get it on the saw and get the saw running. I'm waiting for an intake boot, otherwise I'd bolt this on right now and just give it a whirl. But uh, until then, fingers crossed, I think it'll work. Hey, so I got a little carried away in the video here, and I felt uh, kind of this, this needed to be said. So I spent a lot of time looking around the web for brake shoe liner adhesive, clutch plate adhesive, all that kind of stuff. And, and it seems like it's all made overseas, at least what was quasi available to buy. But I couldn't find anything in a small quantity. So that's why I started looking for other high heat options that didn't say anything about, you know, clutch or brake or, or all of that sort of stuff. So I want to be very, very clear that I am in no way making the claim that this JB Weld material is appropriate for doing a brake shoe or a, an automotive clutch or anything like that. And I'm not endorsing anything. I'm simply showing what I attempted to do with this clutch that I, you know, I think it's going to work, but this is a, a low risk okay I mean there's a, a round plate that screws over the top of this if I have a lining come loose the worst that it's gonna do is get stuck in the chip chute you know there's a shroud that's over that it's not going to you know fly off and hit somebody it's not gonna cause a car to crash you know you're not gonna go to take off from a stoplight and shred a clutch so I want to be extremely careful to to make that clear that I'm in no way suggesting that what I've used here is appropriate for anything in an automotive sense and 
just kind of leave it at that, that I was looking for a solution for a very, very hard to find part uh, for a home light chainsaw where there's extremely, you know, hardly any risk, you know, if it fails down the road. This is just something that buys more time for an uh, antique chainsaw. So just wanted to get that out there. Don't don't get any ideas. Don't extrapolate on anything that I've I've done or said in the video here. Just accept it for, for what it is, a solution for a scenario here that I think will work and I don't expect it to to be used beyond what I've done here.